Hello, Travel Omar here, and I'm still traveling in Italy. We're actually in Rome right now, roaming around. <laughs> and of course, while I've been enjoying the sights of Rome and the Colosseum and walking around in the 90 degree plus heat here in Europe, there is a city that I keep thinking about as we walk around. That is Naples, and I'm actually gonna read from, a little bit from my diary here that I wrote something. I wrote something about Naples. Let me get my reading glasses. The pulse of Italy throbs in Naples. Like Cairo or Mumbai, it's appalling and captivating at the same time. The closest thing to reality travel that you'll find in Western Europe. Man, I'm good. But I keep thinking about Naples because Naples was just an amazing experience. And don't get me wrong, Rome has been fantastic, but I feel like I'm a tourist. <laughs> and in Naples, I didn't feel like I was a tourist. I felt like I was in a, like a washing machine of excitement, grittiness, flavor. But in this video, we're gonna both explain my travels and capturing it, camera gear and camera settings. And please bear with me while I talk about the travels because they go hand in hand, meaning you have to enjoy your travels because if you just think about capturing it and you think about photography and that you have to take pictures all the time, you're gonna miss the flavor and the greediness and the experiences. And I think for me, Naples was a perfect example of how I enjoyed myself I had new experiences, and I think, I hope, sometimes you don't know, <laughs> I hope I was able to capture it in a way where I could later look back at the photos and be like, yeah, that shit was crazy. All right, let me start with my initial impressions of Naples and bear in mind that my family and I were coming from a beautiful, relaxing, scenic <laughs> part of our vacation in Northern Italy in the mountains. Dad, Dad, Dad. And this was complete shock. We just got back from <laughs> our first experience. Our first night in Naples and it was insanity. We exited the main train station and it was hot and loud. And the first obstacle was just, believe it or not, crossing the street. <laughs> we couldn't cross the street. Like the cars and the scooters. And we're kind of like, ah, should we, I, excuse me. <laughs> it was like, oh my God. It was like a complete madhouse. We're looking at each other. We're trying to cross the street. The crosswalks, nobody cares. You go through the crosswalk and they just try to zip in front of you. <laughs> And by the way, like by the next day, we were kind of were just like doing as the locals do. You just like throw yourself in front of the cars and they're really good at stopping. Then we got to our little Airbnb, we settled ourselves and then we went out for a walk. And then I think within five minutes of being on the streets of Naples, the only thing that could like sum up what was going through my head is what the actual I mean, literally, I was kind of like, what is going on? Because, and by the way, we realized later that it was a Friday evening, so maybe that had something to do with it. But it was just kind of a crazy madhouse of scooters, scooters. The people, the scooters go so fast up the streets. Oh my gosh. Weaving through people, 
People everywhere, sounds, smells, people hanging out, food, so much noise, honking. We kind of were just like, tourists, state of the wall. <laughs> it was like... The perfect way to sum it up is what my daughter and I experienced. And I will get to gear, by the way, and camera settings. Just bear with me here. Um, my daughter and I witnessed a little girl. It must have been the first time she was riding a scooter. And someone had the great idea of putting her little brother on the back. She must have been maybe, I would say like eight years old. And the brother was maybe six. And she's, no helmet, by the way. <laughs> and she's coming down the road and my daughter and I see this. She's so, so gleeful. Like I felt it was maybe her first time that she was riding the scooter. And she decided to make a right turn. Uh, and I could tell that she was cutting it incorrectly and swiped the parked car. Her brother went flying off the back. The scooter sort of fell, she fell. Both kids were fine, by the way. And um, we kind of just looked at, again, what the actual, <laughs> what just happened? And it, it was kind of like that was going on everywhere. Again, I think it was because it was a Friday night and Friday nights are great. And we came back to our Airbnb and we were shell-shocked. Like I was on overload. Yeah. And I'm um, like, oh my God, we have to be here five days. <laughs> <laughs> so we kind of were like, why did we come here? This is just insane. And it kind of dawned on me that Naples was taking me out of my comfort zone. We go to these places like Rome. Don't get me wrong. Rome is beautiful. Florence is beautiful. Venice is beautiful. But they almost are like Disney worlds where they cater to tourists. You completely have these restaurants with pictures, you know, on the menu. And I think as you travel more and more, you get a little bored with the all-inclusive cities. And you look for real travel and experiences and seeing how the locals do it. And I think it took us a couple of days going through the neighborhoods and talking to the locals and having great pizza and seeing the fish market and buying fruit for like 50 cents, you know. Got your fruit? Oh, this fruit was $1.50. Oh, that's great. Really? Yes. That's and also seeing the diversity in Naples, it just, it, Naples didn't cater to you. You were, you know, we were in this tidal wave of Naples. And I think that is what I enjoy the most. And so I decided to figure out how could I capture this for how I felt. And for me, I went back to the scooters where how important it is to have a two wheeled vehicle in the city. And I just started capturing like real Naples on two wheels. <laughs> So capturing the different categories of people on the scooters kind of became my little personal project. And I think if you travel or go to a new city, it might be a good idea to capture all the stuff like the Colosseum and you know all the signs and the churches, but also have a side hustle, have a side cap, you know, something that you want to capture, a project, like everything that's red in the city, or you know, vendors, or in my case, I was fascinated by the, the life on two wheels, how important it is, the combinations of families or two people, people dressed up, people with helmets, no helmets. Okay, so now that you have an idea of what my thought process was, my feelings towards Naples, that I had a little scooter project going on, um, let's talk about gear and settings. So the Ricoh GR does, as advertised, is a great small pocketable carry shoot pictures that are higher quality than your phone, and um, it's just fun to use. I wish it had a viewfinder, of course. I, I like shooting with a viewfinder and bright sunlight. But the way I shot this camera, the settings for the Ricoh GR, which I felt worked best, was for both cameras. Aperture, let's put it big here, aperture priority when you travel. Now, shooting in a full auto mode, like a program mode, 
I would X that because the camera is always going to pick a aperture that is usually a little greater than you want because if you're walking around during bright in bright conditions the aperture will go to 5.6 f8 f11 if you're in a semi-auto or program mode and the problem with that is if you have dust on your sensor then you're you know shooting at f11 you're going to have dust all over your pictures that you have to remove later which is one annoying thing uh, and two Shooting wide open is uh, sometimes just a little bit better to, you know, have your subject stand out. Even though my camera here, my lens, my 14 to 30s and f4, it's still better than shooting f11, okay? So aperture priority, you lock in an aperture. And then everything else make auto. So here I'm on aperture priority, and what I did was have an auto ISO, and then the camera picks a shutter speed. And this is really great because if you're shooting out during the day and it's bright enough, all your shutter speeds will be fast enough so that you don't have camera shake. If, it start, if the light starts to get really low, then this camera was hitting shutter speeds of 1 30th, 1 15th. And for night scenes, I would use its image stabilization. I would still stay in aperture priority, just stay really still and then fire really slowly and I could get some shots using aperture priority, slow shutter speed. And so most cameras, you can limit the high end of the auto ISO. Just know that even though you limit your ISO, the camera will still pick a shutter speed to get a proper exposure. So you kind of have to be careful with shutter speeds if the, if the light is getting lower. But aperture priority releases you from thinking about camera settings, especially when it's bright enough. For white balance, I keep the auto white balance either at daylight or auto white balance. Um, I'm shooting raw anyway, 100% raw shooting, no JPEGs. Uh, so I can pick the white balance later, but it's nice to kind of keep the white balance close so you don't have to correct everything. So auto white balance, auto ISO, auto shutter speed, because I'm in aperture priority mode. And I think that's the best way to sort of release your mind from camera settings and just capture the realness of where you are. In closing, I'll finish with something else I wrote in my diary here. Naples is Italy's third largest city and Europe's most densely populated with more than 1 million people and few open spaces or parks. Watching the police try to enforce traffic sanity is almost comical in this gritty, crowded and crime-ridden metropolis. Yet Naples surprises the observant traveler with its impressive knack for living, eating, raising children with good humor and decency. Thanks to its reputation as a dangerous place, Naples doesn't really get nearly as many tourists as it deserves. While the city has its problems, it has improved a lot in recent years. And even though it's a little bit edgy, I feel comfortable here. Naples richly rewards those who venture in. All right, I'll see you guys next time.